Whatever you do in life, just don't be a rat. Don't tell me. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So what we're, what we're doing today is we're basically getting the uh, Nitro Buggy together. We're going to go practice tomorrow, me and Quaid. And uh, hopefully we uh, can throw some pretty sweet whips. Um, so, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I'll probably do an upload video of the setup and then of a total a totally different video of us actually at practice tomorrow maybe i'll do them both in one who knows but that's the plan so i'm gonna take you guys along of the setup of this agama buggy i've had it for like three or four years um it's literally been the best rc race kit that i've owned ever um the thing is amazing it's so fast what are you doing what you doing? What you doing, boom boom? What you doing? Hey, booty. Booty. Who I got? Get him, booty. Get him, booty. All right, so <clears throat> first off, I'd like to give a really big shout out to Advantage Racing Products. Um, a buddy of mine owns that company, man, and they are they're just jam up. I get all my air filter oil, my bearing lube, uh, hinge pin lube, bearings, all that good stuff from them. <clears throat> um, Billy with Nemo Racing USA, uh, the Gama kits, he's amazing. Dude is went above and beyond for me since i started racing nitro buggy um he is awesome uh z max they helped me out a little bit um shout out to those guys too <clears throat> so basically we're just going to do a quick rundown of the car um and try to at least just check over it make sure everything's tight and ready to go um as long as we don't have uh, anything loose and everything seems good, we should be ready and, and primed to go. Uh, for the most part, I've went through it already. I've done the diffs. <clears throat> this is a newer motor, uh, gone through motor. Um, everything should be pretty good to go. I'm just going to check over it. I do have to install a hinge pin that or a uh, wheel pin that came out. Do have to put that on. But besides that, man, I'm just going to look at it, kind of look over it, grease hinge pins, um, check the air filter oil, but air filter, air filter oil, sorry. But I've already done that once. Going to lube uh, all the kind of pivot points and stuff like that. Most people don't do that, but, you know, uh, owning a race car and stuff like that has kind of changed my mind about stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to do that. And we're just going to send it. So, yeah.
All right, so even though this doesn't look like it's been oiled, it is oiled pretty good. The only issue with uh, oiling filters is you don't want to put too much oil on them because then they don't breathe. Um, then you run into uh, having too much fuel or having too little fuel and no air. Um, no engine can run without air, so. Uh, yeah, pretty sure she's ready to go. All I'm gonna do is throw it on the charger and we should be all set for tomorrow, so. Yeah. Oh wait, before I end this, make sure you like, subscribe, um, follow my Instagram, do all that good stuff. Um, we are trying to get the subscribers up, trying to get the likes up, the comments, all that good stuff. If you're seeing this, comment something, let me know you're seeing this. Um, I'm trying to get my own little group together, man. Have me some good buddies on YouTube, so this should be sick. Um, and I am running uh, Pro Amp Servos, and this is a Novorossi BT4 Plus. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. This is the setup. I'm running 42 and a half up front, 37 and a half in the rear. Uh, in terms of shock oil, um, the springs. I have no clue what they are. Um, I am running, I'm not sure what the sway bars are either, but all I know is it was dialed and it should be dialed again and we're just gonna send it, so it should be fun. Yep, thanks, have a good day.